This example is if you have a work order already started and planned and has stuff on it and you want to go copy uh, components and things from a different work order. So this button here will take you to a template where you can paste data from an existing work order. So to grab materials data from a work order, you go you hold down the control key and just tap Y once, it activates the crosshairs. So it's text select mode. So you grab the component numbers and the descriptions of what you want to copy. If you accidentally let go, in some software you can hold down the shift key to continue selection, but not with SAP. You have to do control Y again to reactivate the crosshairs and start fresh. So if you select too much, it doesn't matter. Like if you select too many columns across all the, past the tracking number, it doesn't matter. We only go up to the tracking number in our template. If I copy all that, now in my template, I paste as values here. It pastes the data. Then you can clean up the data. If you want to change the quantities or whatever, delete rows, whatever. Here is safe to delete rows because the um, formulas are pointing on the next sheet as lag. So to bring once you once you cleanse this data as you want, then you hit the uh, copy cleanse version, and it will copy this data over to the next sheet. But it'll put in all your defaults from the header page, and it also does a copy. So it copies it ready to paste into a work order. Anything that has a material number, it just strips away the description, units of measure, and so on because that's not needed. The material will put in the proper data. So you can scroll over to make sure it's what you want. And then go into your work order that you want to put it into. And in the picture scrolled over, in the component cell paste, you hit enter, it validates and fills in all the gaps. And again, you can adjust here before saving if you want to decide last minute you want to change some quantities or whatever. And that's that example. So once you're done, you you could go back to the home page, but you can also go to the paste SAP and clean this up. I, I could make a macro button to clean this up. So otherwise you'd highlight those cells by the row numbers and hit the delete key. So you delete it that way. Now you're done, you hit home. 